Welcome back, Commander. So today's little jolly into the into the realms of the war that never ends, World War Two, is the Battle of Tunisia in Gai Jin's Gai Jin's enlisted. It's kind of like War Thunder, the aeroplanes, tanks, and ships game. Wanted to bring infantry in, and instead of managing that they created an entirely new infantry game and this is it enlisted it's free to play and it's good it's a good little you know good little role now what separates enlisted from your average um, capture and control shooter is you get a squad of AI to come with you so when you die you can take over the man right behind you the AI are pretty dim. I mean, they're cannon fodder. But they're also spare lives. And this basically means you're going to get plenty of kills. You're not just against um, Chad Lord, the human player who knows the map and has upgraded to all the best weapons. You are going to be shooting pretty stupid AIs too. And it plays, I compare it to how I used to play uh, Star Wars Battlefront. So, you know, you have a few mates in there if you met them give you trouble and a whole load of AI who you just slaughter like cattle. It's very enjoyable. Being a Gaijin game, being a War Thunder um, a War Thunder continuation, it's got pretty good ballistics and the tanks have the same tank system as in War Thunder tanks, you know, the penetration, the armor points, the damage models. So do the aeroplanes have the same Presumably, I haven't tried one, have the same flight models as the flight sims. And they, you know, they know what they're doing. And again, in their model, it's free to play. You could buy boost to give yourself more experience points to upgrade faster. I'll show you. Uh, we're now playing the Allies, and I have basically no upgrades on this. This is, this is what you get if you first join. I also have on the other side, the Axis team, I have a fair few upgrades on. I'll show you the difference between this game and the next game. So it's a um, flowing battle map. As you take control points, you have to then take the next one. And you can put in mobile spawns and all the sort of things you'd expect from squads and battlefields. It's going to come pretty instinctive to you. I'm marking up the enemy there. Um, I sometimes feel I do more damage by telling the team where I've spotted the enemy than actually by shooting them. Because as you can see, oh, I've got one. And the rifles are pretty serious. You shoot somebody with a rifle, you do kill them, or almost kill them, or leave them hidden themselves on the ground. But the submachine guns, you need a few hits. This is a very satisfactory game, very satisfying, good fun with a romp. Grab some friends, it's free. Have a go, come play with me. I've got no friends, I could use some. Each map, there's eight different maps to play on, or eight different theatres to play on. I think there are multiple maps in each theatre. Um, on each theatre there's two teams, and in each team, on each theatre, you have to level up your men if you want to get upgrades. So, for example, I don't upgrade this army that I'm dying on. Whoops, I'm going to check my sniper squad here. I'm going to pick a sniper squad. Um, if I upgraded my sniper squad here, on the points I've earned in this battle, for the Allied team, the enemy team uh, still wouldn't be upgraded. I'd have to play as the other side to upgrade that side. And... If I was to change theatre of war, so for example I wanted to play the Pacific campaign, which I do, I haven't tried yet, it's new, they've upgraded it since I last played. And I would start from the beginning on each team I play with no upgrades, no experience. 
experience points, you know, extra guns and ammunition belts and whatever more, and grenades. So there's a whole massive load of, of upgrade tree. Uh, as such, I focused on one team on one map, which has been the German team on this map, Tunisia. I wanted to play the British in Tunisia, and unfortunately, uh, when the game, when I last played, the British team was, or the Allied team at least, was oversubscribed. I only ever got to play the Germans, which means I went massively up, loads of levels on the Germans, and none at all on this to, on this side. But today, it's been the other way around. I've been mainly getting uh, Allied teams. German teams have been able to subscribe. <laughs> How times have changed. And being a Gaijin game, it is updated regularly. There are new maps, there are new weapons, there are all sorts of new stuff. This game I th looks twice as big as when I last played it. Oh, stick your head out, stick your head out, or can I shoot your hand? Marked him off, people know he's up there. The tank seems to be working on him. When I die, I have the choice of units to respawn in. There'll be a tank team, a pilot team, um, an anti tank team, a close quarters machine gun, submachine gun squad, a sniper squad, an anti tank squad. So there's a few different roles to play. So slow. Very much like on the trailer for um, Leningrad, they've mapped a tank, a tractor factory, a tank factory that the battle takes place in. They've mapped a real tank factory that's fought over in Leningrad. Um, again, that's new to me. I quite fancy a go at that sooner or later. I'm going to try and get a spare weapon. You can pick up um, the enemy's bodies on your own bodies despawn after a short time. But in that time before they despawn, you can loot them. Um, you don't loot their grenades and ammo like that. You just grab a spare rifle. Like so I've grabbed his. Unfortunately, I've swapped it for one. You can have two two rifles swapped it for the sniper rifle. I wanted to have both that and the sort of backup. So it's a bit fiddly that I'm having to... Uh, just a flesh wound. That's uh, just a flesh wound. <laughs> Loot obsessed. Got me killed. So this time I'm going to spawn in as these chaps. Uh, big axe, perhaps they're an assault squad. Yeah, look, I've got a stain gun. The guys behind me have my AI have rifles, but if I die, they can pick up my stain gun. Hopefully, if if I die. So I'm now going to do the same loot of sense nonsense. Desperately go for his stain gun and presumably get shot by the same guy. And I think I've got it. Yeah, I oh know I've got a German. Uh, Lanchester. A Lanchester. There's a rare looking antique. Probably be better with a rifle at this range, but um, oh. I don't know what I'd be better. Better, I'd probably be better if my little sister, schoolgirl sister, <laughs> was playing for me. <laughs> yes, that'd be much better if my diminutive schoolgirl sister. <laughs> He's doing the shooting for me. As you can see, look, the enemy has got four out of five control points. This battle is going to be short. It's soon to be over. Oh, satisfaction. Pop up kill. Oh. I knew I should have moved. Yeah. I'm not 
dead body. Is that? I was shooting in there to see if he had a sort of half dead body that needed finishing off, otherwise he can crawl away and heal. Oh, I thought I was going to get him. See, like, now I'm going to try and crawl. Uh, no, I'm not going to crawl away and heal. And there's a the circular spawn point in, with the blue flag on the map. That's a default one, and the square one is one placed by an engineer squad. And you could choose to play an engineer squad. Mortar again, you could choose by a mortar squad. I don't think you get to play one by default, you probably have to spend a few upgrade points. But somebody's calling mortars down on our position and they're deadly. The mortar squad's going to get a lot of kills. So. Something I haven't tried yet. And looting, I love that, whatever that is. Looks big. bullet in the magazine. I have a maximum of 11. It's not a, a powerful gun, but it doesn't have a lot of ammo. Not a big magazine. My last 11 shots with it. And obviously I could start with these kind of guns if I played the game long enough to go up levels. And you do, you do go up levels pretty much every map you play. Progression is constant. I, feel like I just didn't realise I only had 11 in it. <laughs> I was thinking that was going to blast a whole lot of them. It would be like a light machine gun and I was going to savage all of them, but no. Oh. Shoot through this window, I could also open this window for a clearer view. And pretty much all of, all of these buildings I can get into and go up to the roofs and, and die and crawl. Oh no, not die, escape. 11 seconds to press heal. Jolly good show. Oh, he obviously moved to, he was taking a lot of fire here, but I'll try it. Try my luck. Stick your head out in the same spot. Are you too smart? No, he's too smart. So I'm going to alternate between windows there, look. So that he's not waiting for me. Seems to be a hot spot. Now, because you have a team of AI with you, when you shoot one there's usually a few more people to shoot right after it's in the same niche position. You can instruct your AI to wait at a certain spot, to hold certain positions. Um, I tend not to. I'd like to learn to do that a bit better. So that, for example, I can leave my squad on the other side of the map and play it man by man, rather than have the whole lot of Zerg in behind me and get murdered when I get murdered. The there is another game mode where you, where you have no squads, where it's not where it's a traditional capture and control shooter, where it's just you, you have one man. I haven't played it. Getting all the easy AI kills is too much of a lure for me. Missed him. Missed him again. Super suck shooter. Shooting. Ah, super sharp shots. more for any more. So that was probably one or two players total, although there was a lot of enemy to shoot there. And once they're all dead he's going to have to respawn in a new unit ten seconds later at the respawn point. So that building is probably quite secure at the moment. My teammate and his squad are going in there now. So I think it's time for me to move up. That's an enemy 
new plane coming on the strafing run, very controlled. So to make life easy for the aeroplanes, I'm marking targets. If I see infantry, I'm pressing V to, to highlight them. If I see a tank, I'm pressing definitely pressing V to highlight a tank. But those spottings would definitely help my... Oh, I took my schmizer. Those spottings would definitely help my allied mortar crews, my allied tank crews and my allies. Uh, I mean, everybody, but specifically the aircraft and the tanks. We can't see much from the air. Let me just, know. Let me just call them in. Tip him off to where the enemy are. We might back you up. That guy's about to build a spawn point. Get his hammer out. Dumbly. It's got the recoil, I'm not laser shooting. I've not... oh, got a hit. Unlike the rifle, that submachine gun doesn't take them down in one shot. This rifle really does. There's a peak as well. In your face. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, that's a sniper team. I'll go right in at the front line of the sniper team. Totally the wrong play. The wrong tactic, but you know. Oh, look, tank. So I highlight him. That's an infantry highlight. I wanted to go to the tank icon on it, so the bomb would find it. It turned out it was a friendly tank. Now I'm trying to highlight a friendly tank. A bit daft. Keyhole sniping. The Allied teams, I think, are made up of Canadians, Americans, and British. So you're going to get. Uh, an interesting, oh, he had a trench gun that's got a shotgun. So you get an interesting array of weapons, um, uniforms, accents, and names. another team so there's my men there but there's also a new guy with the second player in his squad and the enemy have totally got the number on this window nonetheless I'm going to give it a try ah. I don't know if that was a tank shot I don't know what that was but it hurt so I'm we're now out of tickets look I can't respawn the game is soon to end Let's have a watch and see how this British tank fights. A Crusader. Cavalry tank. This is maneuver tank. Tank versus tank tank. But, uh, so judging by what he's shooting at, look at the crowd on the left and the crowd on the right. And he's just gunning at that door. It looks to me, I haven't played a tank for a bit, but he's got very limited vision inside that tank. Oh, he's devastating. He just totally isn't seeing the hordes of guys up there, up there on the right. There it is. He looks like he's on fire too, so he's not longer this well. Ah, defeat. Battle. Guess I earned that. Luckily, the team had me on their side, so they were uh, 
success was uh, yes guaranteed so these troops have leveled up and this means I can buy little perks with them for example uh, reload faster um, regain your stamina faster and each different soldier has a different choice of perks it's not the same and they're tiny little upgrades they're nothing dramatic um, increase the speed you change weapon increase the speed that you shift position you know from crouch to standing these sort of things uh, heal faster outside of uh, outside of combat tiny little perks and loads of them I'm sure they all add something and a bit of a much of a muchness what I do enjoy is that you can uh, get them better guns you could get them health packs you could get them grenades anti-tank grenades um, and you could buy different uh, different types of units As you can see there I've got a kind of basic infant rifleman squad a tank squad a, um, submachine gun squad a sniper squad but I could add a pilot squad a mortar squad and that's really where I like to spend my experience points the little perky things that you're going to get something to tweak more or less every game I don't I'm not very fussed for them they don't do much oh extra men in your squad now that's a perk I like you know it's good to have a 10 man squad not a 4 man squad that gives you a lot more chance of respawns so this time I'm playing the Germans and the, my squads are full and quite, as you can see my basic rifleman guy starts with the sniper rifle and quite a few in his team have sniper rifles too. And he's got an anti there's an anti tank gun and this is, you get to this kind of level after three or four days of playing. I'd suggest. That's what, is, that's what I do. So the game's just started. I'm, we're trying to close in on the, the first point. It's a friendly, trying to mark it, but it's friendly because I'm German this time. Duh. I'm shooting at something, let's see what it is. It's a tank, so mark the tank. See, it's got a tank marker. No, I don't want anything to do with that. A couple of guys on my squad have got kind of anti tank rifles, you know, 50 cal things, but I wouldn't trust them. Going front on with the tank. And there are big dynamite stick grenades that people have. They work nicely on tanks and anything else, but they work nicely on tanks. See how if anyone's degraded his tank yet. Oh my god, this team, so I'll mark both of them. Surely that will attract an airstrike. No, no, I've been murdered. But next guy on my team also has a sniper. Can you see he had it on his back? He's got an anti tank rifle. And this is a lot more useful. Bigger squad, decent guns. Got a scope on it. A lot more useful. Though get some kills rather than just get a shot off and then die. Maybe get some kills. He should go, shouldn't he? No. Seems like a hot spot. Just hold this a little bit. So where there's one, there's usually more, because there'll be a squad. The AI player, he won't be that dumb. He'll be flanking the AI. So the human player won't be that dumb. He'll be flanking me off doing some moves. There's 
one. There's more. Oh. Got you this time. I fell through the floor. Oh, tiger rich environment. Come on. Oh, uh. squad getting wiped out. So another squad available, it's them. I don't know what they are. Those are the guys with some machine guns, I think. Uh, top guy's got a sniper rifle, I can see. As you see, look, there's eight guys in that squad. When I started the same squad, the same default squad on the other team, I had four guys in it, and none of them had a scope. I'm trying to highlight it, but I think it's this friendly, so I'm not quite marking that one. Bayonet people. Ah, the gore, the horror. Sheer violence. Oh, way. You don't want to take that on, you do want to mark it. True, so I want to get my AI to smartly move away from wherever that tank's looking. So they all get murdered. Another tank. Oh, there's some troops going in out here where I get to kill them. Some shots out there. Hey, you got one. If that turret spins, I'm out of here. Missed him. Please, who's shooting back? I can't crawl away and heal. By the looks of it, my squad are getting murdered by whatever just shot me. Well, let's reposition. No point carrying on when we haven't got the advantage. Flanking is the key. I want to have the drop on everyone I engage. I want to be shooting from a position they don't know I'm in. I want first shot. Oh, he's got his gun looking at me. That's no good. Let's make a real mess of everyone. Try to highlight, unhighlight, highlight, unhighlight, so it's like a flashing icon of the uh, effects of the eyes that, oh! So it looks like that friendly squad to the left of it got up close and hand grenaded it. It's the uh, aeroplanes are busy dogfighting, but I don't bother trying to shoot them. They're trying to highlight friendly player as an enemy again. I don't know if there is friendly fire, but uh. Ooh. I'm a long way away from the objective. Let's see if we can make some ground. Jump! Yes, I can jump walls. Jump! Yes. So athletic. Me athleticism jumping involves pressing X on the controller. That's my uh, daily workout. Got a very fit thumb. So this is cross-platform. I'm playing on PC. There's obviously you, know, you can play on Xbox or PlayStation. One would hope that playing on PC, I've got the pay-to-win advantage. You know, keyboard and mouse and all that, bigger screen. I can aim with this hammer for the spawn point. The enemy took the control point. The next one. So yeah, in there in that sandbag, that's where I want to get in and fight. Except for the sniper. Oh. Um, bad sniper. 
Did I mention that I'm a super suck shot? They call me the worst shot in the village. That's what happens when I walk into the pub. They all go, that's the worst shot in the village and start laughing. Sniper rifle. Happy about that. Not like I can use it. That's got a useless fire. I watched a video of um, some YouTuber, Devil Dog Gamer, something like that, playing this. And he had no sniper rifle, just a bolt action rifle. Every shot he fired was a kill. I like that tank, please. Can you see there's a tank right on the buildings? Yes, I like that. Every single, he's just popping on pop. Another dead one, pop. Another dead one. Yeah, and I like to think I'm good at these games, but uh, as you can see, it's not quite true. Maybe with the practice I get my eye on, but I don't think so. Just. I have to face the facts today. It's a target rich environment, but I'm not, I think I run out of bullets for the sniper. And that should just be me ripping, it, ripping that squad in half. Instead, I'm struggling to get any of them. Pretty soon they're going to work out here. Ideally, I'd be shooting in the back every time, that's probably... Oh, so look how many of these guys are here. That's at least three players, at least three squad. Oh, they found me. And they found me, my wingman. Wow, oh, that's better, like, it doesn't hurt anymore. Put a bandage on it. Don't feel a thing. Whoa! Oh, the objective's the other way, but maybe somebody's coming up and catch up there. So look at that. That's the objective on You see blue troops are on every level of it. Good gun. No, not a rifle, just the same. Look at all these dead boys. Somebody must have a cool gun. It's going to get me killed, isn't it? Gun collecting. It always does. Oh. I'm going to retreat. Hopefully, someone will come in that door and not be looking my way. I'll shoot them. I think this is uh, an Italian rifle, a Caracano. The German rifle, the Mauser, does more damage. This one has a nicer front sight. What does it surf with front sight? Believe it or not, that makes a difference to how fast you can acquire a target. You know, it's all the, it's just a graphic, but boy does it make a difference. It's not mechanically helping you aim in any way. It's not so Find out when you try it yourself. This is my anti-tank squad. And we're slightly ahead in this battle. But it's close. 
So I think there's just a lot of men here that are close calls on Manchester. Because yeah, I don't know what that is, that's an MP30 something. A nice one before they started making them super cheap. The last one is that some machine guns in the war is the early ones are the nice ones. Later on they're making um, stamped metal sting guns for 50p. But the early stuff. They weren't in a rush and didn't really, you know, weren't at war, weren't in any hurry to mass produce loads of guns. Oh, here we go. They're all nice, they'll have like a big wooden staff and nice heat shields and radiators and just generally be a bit higher quality. No, damn it. Another guy, so look at his side with the circle on top. How much quicker is that to speed rate? Yeah, it's funny how little things make all the difference. Sit here all day, and we're all to win. And the scores in the match are pretty even. We're down on men, but we're equally matched on reinforcement points. We were winning a minute ago, we're starting to lose now. I'll just go and change that. Like this, like. Hey, yeah, got you, flanked you. Again, another man right next to him killed me. Yeah, he's just killing my whole squad. Look, okay, that's the, don't stand there because that's where all my other guys are. Oh, I stand there, they're like that. Right, right. It was an excellent plan, poorly executed. Again from a different angle. That's got four, we'll do the hot spot again. Right then. I think the grenade must be the human, that was too smart. I was going for it off. My line down is probably an AR. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't even hit that guy. He's sitting still. Shot him in the arse. Blame for his balls. second chance. Press 5 to use grenade. I ought to learn to do that more. Okay, let's see if he's still there. Perhaps not. Uh, we're close quarters, so I'm going to sneak from building to building rather than out in the open or in the park. Looking bad, looking bad, I'm out of ammo. Five rich environment, got no bullets. But look at those death all the way. I'm on fire! Oh my god, I'm on fire! Pick up the ammo pouches with it though, so I've just got what's in that drum. Wait! Park nearest to the uh, objective.
bad position. Don't know if I remember not to take that one. I might have done much better here. Ah, ow, ooh, ooh, ow. You shoot me. I'm going to delete this from video. No one can see my shame. That's four, five. No. Can you get away? So the, the map changes as the spawn points change. I don't seem to be able to shoot him. I think I just walked off the edge of the map you know, into spawn protection. You can't go presumably near their base spawn. I think that's what's going on. And yeah, that changes the areas of the map that you're allowed to go, so you can't flank too far wide as the game progresses. You know, if we were to capture this spawn point and move on to the next spawn point, it would slightly change where on the map we're allowed to be. Not going too bad, I mean, every life counts here. The control point we're chasing fighting over has now moved. There is no friendly fire on it. I'm sure we'll be back in the field there. Oh, 
I mean the enemy has lost one here, I was getting a second attack. Somebody's built barbed wire all around this base. Can't spawn anymore, it's all over. Time for the players on the map. Through. Oh, so if they capture a form, we get more spawn. Get more spawns. Oh, cool. Look at this pilot, look at him. Jimmy. Where's the speaker? He don't care, does he? The tank shooting him about. Well, he's going to single handedly win the game, that fella. Rambo. Intending to oh, he's miss the spawn point in time. He missed town, man. I don't know if he was intending to land on the spawn in his parachute. Go like that last We're guy. Too many casualties. We lost this battle. Uh, all right, that's going to do. I've got to go shopping. I need some food. Now, which means I need to pay for some food, which means I'm hoping you guys will press like so that more people can see this and subscribe to, but definitely the like and then get this to a wider audience and then I'll make some more.